Desert Botanical Garden is a perfect place to go, especially in a pandemic. Social distancing is very easy, and we are here today to talk about wind, water, and earth. This is a really cool installation. So we're starting with part one, and it's basically incorporating the desert's natural elements. So tumbleweeds and different branches and plants. So let's go ahead and spin you around the garden as we take a look. It is such a gorgeous morning. We saw a little rain, uh, but now it is clear and we are enjoying our beautiful surroundings. So let's talk about the installation. <laughs> this thing is massive. It's beautiful. Who would have thought tumbleweeds and branches could look so cool? Joining me now is Lauren. She's in charge of uh, all the exhibits here. Good morning. Good morning. So what was it like to have the artist put this together and you are overseeing it. Yeah, so we've actually been working with the artist Natasha Letizia and Daniel Schultz of Water Lily Pond Studios for several months now, just working on developing the concept and sourcing a lot of materials for this installation. So you'll kind of see when you take a closer look, a lot of the materials are actually found from the garden. So dried agaves, other plant specimens that would have normally gone into our green waste bin uh, are actually recreated and painted and become part of the sculpture now. It's so beautiful and unlikely elements. I yes. mean, when you think of tumbleweeds, I don't really think of a breathtaking art, yes. but there's some significance behind this and the valley and the wind and the haboobs. Tell me a little bit about the kind of idea. Yeah, so the artists were really inspired by the desert's natural elements and certainly specifically what we see here in Arizona. And so this one in particular called wind is inspired by the really tumultuous windstorms that we often see in the valley and those haboobs that come in over our summer months as well. So you kind of see it has like really big gestural movement and this rolling storm cloud coming through and visitors can really interact with it. So you can really walk up right through it Ooh. and kind of see all the details that are, are in each one of these pieces here. So how long did this take them to put together? So, you know, it took over 200 hours for the artists of prototyping and really concept design and just trying everything out in their home studio. And then on site, it took us about six days to build. Wow, it is cool to kind of be up close and personal. And this is one of several installations. Uh, what was the theme behind all of them? Yeah, so just overall the, the desert's natural elements. So the next one is going to be water. So really the, the movement of water through streams is gonna be the next piece. And then earth is the last one. And that one has a lot of elements of natural rock material and striations of natural rock that are gonna be reflected in fresh cut flowers. I am so excited to talk to the artists. They just got here, so we're going to chat with them. They're kind of over watching us. We're going to chat with them coming up in the 9 o'clock hour. How do you even envision something like this? And how do you put it all together? We'll chat with them coming up next when we see you in the 9 a.m. hour. This, by the way, is opening today over at DBG. So come give it a look. Oh, you are right. That is so cool. I would love to see that in person. Thank you.